Welcome to the Grace Girls and Company podcast, hosted by none other than yours truly, Julie Tussie. This is a podcast for all the Grace Girls Jesus sends to listen in and join us. This podcast is filled with the word, encouragement, and sassy verb to help you be you and do you because he created you. All of our guests are going to inspire and fire you up, and they're going to encourage you in a way you probably haven't been encouraged in a long time. So join us now as we go into the Grace Girls and Company Podcast. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us here on the podcast. I am so excited to be with you. It is hot in Kentucky. It is hot in Michigan. So because it's so hot, I have decided to bring in the right Reverend SJ to help bring the cool down. The cool down. Hey, Stacy, how are you doing? Hey, baby, I'm fine, darling. It's uh, my face melts off, so I don't put on any makeup. I know. I've been saving so much money on makeup through the COVID-19 thing. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can actually see each other, you guys, while we're doing this. We can see each other because we're doing our recording through Facebook Messenger. So shout out to Facebook Messenger. Thank you. Yes. (laughs) They're not a sponsor. (laughs) <laughs> they're not a sponsor <laughs> so we have a lot of exciting things going on i want to give a shout out miss stacy to uh, mill oh. pond mill pond wellness in lexington kentucky i'm actually working with them right now just in the beginning stages and they are a like a natural path doctor uh, a husband wow. and wife doctor team they have a whole team there because I have not announced it to anyone on the podcast, but I have been trying to lose weight for six years. And it the most I've gotten off is uh, 30 pounds, and it's just been a struggle. So they put me on thyroid medicine, and I gained 12 pounds in like five months from that. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to get to the bottom of this, and I'm not going to be able to do it with traditional medicine. I've studied for 30 years these things. And so I am in the midst of getting my body healthier. Turns out I had an adrenal problem and a couple other things that we're dealing with. So I'm very excited. So if you are like me and you've gone through perimenopause, maybe menopause, and you are struggling with your hormones, you go to the doctor, you feel exhausted all the time, fatigued, give them a call in Lexington, Kentucky. It's Mill Pond Wellness. So there we go. <laughs> Big hand for them. <laughs> so, Stace, what I wanted to talk to you about today is a word that the Lord gave to me. The Lord gave me oh, a word. Goodness. Mm, oh, goodness. I know. Better hold, everybody better hold on uh, to their grandma. Here we go. <laughs> hang on. Jesus is talking. <laughs> Don't slap your grandma. Just hang on to your grandma. Here yeah. we go. Well, you know, I've had this gift. We're bu- I've had this gift in my life since I was um, uh, 17 where the Lord just tells me things. And it's really cool because then when you go out to minister, it's really cool because, you know, everything from barren women getting pregnant the next month and just people being uh, healed of cancer and just wild things have happened. Okay. So when the COVID- I know, and God always stuck on me to you too. I can't get by with nothing. <laughs> Hello, but that's because we're like can't sisters. Get by with nothing. You can't get away with nothing. No, no. Uh, it's it's Jesus, not me. I just try to obey Him. You know, that's that's the greatest part of serving Him is just simply letting go and letting God. And I love that because yeah. it takes the pressure off in life. But anyway, the Lord gave me this. Um, he gave me this word right in the beginning of the covid uh hitting here in kentucky which so i think it was like the middle or end of march that he began to show me this and so last night i was about to go to bed and i was going to go to bed early and i felt like he was saying julie i want you to put that in writing and i want you to post it on social media well it kind of makes sense because you can't really travel right now you can't go and tell churches what the lord is saying to you you can't go and tell people You know, I could call people up and try to tell them. So I typed it out last night. I'm going to read it to you. It's phenomenal. It is. He's so faithful. I just 
It's all Great, Julie, it's all it's him. Great. I'm just a little country girl from yes. Pop- Coleman, Michigan, population 450 when I was there. And, you know, <laughs> we just have to obey him and do what he asks. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, I, oh. Yeah. So this mm-hmm. is what the Lord began to show me. And, you know, I've already began to see some of it come to pass. And so have you. The Lord said, ministries that were in obscurity when this COVID-19 began, I am bringing to the forefront in this season. You have Mm. seen it on social media. Those you never heard of before preaching my word, loving me, loving my people. Mm, I love that line. Mm. That's great. I am bringing them to the forefront, a changing of the guard. Behold, I am doing a new thing, and those who won't go where I go won't go into this new move. But those who do Mm. go, I know, but those who do go where I go will see things they've never seen before as I poured out, as I pour out my spirit. Signs, wonders, miracles, healings, and unprecedented happenings to show my love. Amen. Oh, wow. I know. Wow. I know. I was just like, oh that my will gosh. Make you stand up. Oh, that, that will make you stand up and slap your girl off right there. <laughs> well, that'll Man. make you stand up and praise Jesus. And what I love about it it's is so that it gives powerful. us, yes, it gives us a hope in this time. We have been through some pretty yep. rough, rough things, you know, but whenever the yep. enemy comes in, the Bible says when the enemy comes in, comma a lot of people read it when the enemy comes in like a flood then god's gonna move when the enemy comes in like a flood well no there's a comma when the enemy comes in comma when the enemy comes in period like a flood god moves i need to look that scripture up and actually read it i'm quoting it from memory that'll preach that That will preach preach. and that's what i feel like the lord is doing right now i feel like when the enemy has come in like this cray cray you know Mm-hmm. Oh, my mm-hmm. gosh. Our God is such a big God. He is so amazing. He is so awesome. And he is not done. I don't care what anybody th- says. Our God is not done. There are people no. who need him. We need him. Uh, the believers need uh, him. And then the lost need him. And so he has, he's not going to give us love. He is love. So when he, he says love. he's yeah. going to, this is going to show his love. It's going to show him because he is love. Yes, <laughs> he is love. absolutely. But I love that. I have seen ministries and, I, and it's been awesome. Isn't it just like God that this devastation comes to our world and our country and yes. our city and our street? And God yep. says, you know what? All right. It's on. It's on because I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna preach the gospel like it has never hit. And you know, it almost took. I'm not. I know this didn't come from the Lord. It's the devil. Anything that steals, kills, or destroys is from the enemy. Yep. Yep. But God will Romans eight twenty eight this thing, and He is because look how many have you noticed this days? How many ministries, worshipers, praisers, preachers, lovers of God, lovers of His people have come out like you can't you can get on at any hour of the day on facebook on youtube and on instagram and listen to the gospel of jesus christ being preached they're saying right now julie that because of the covid this is a huge movement in the spirit of God. It's going to bring people. We right now, they're saying, Julie, that we as ministers are reaching people more than it's ever been done. Yeah. Even going to, because it's social media and baby, you can just display that flat out like a buffet. It's amazing. And let them come and eat the work. And you know what I find yes. is really cool. I love the part where he says, um, Behold, I'm doing a new thing, and those who won't go where I go won't go into this new new move. But those who do go where I go will see things they've never seen before as they pour out my spirit, signs, wonders, miracles, healings, and unprecedented happenings to show my love. I love that there are ministries like Rod Parsley and Ron Carpenter Jr. and... um, 
uh, what's her name, Joe Lynn Whitaker. And there are ministries that that instead of, you know, and they're our age or, or older, okay? And Joe right. Lynn, I don't know, she might be younger than us. Do you but, know of Steve Furrick? Yes. Steve Furrick? Yes. Love him. So I uh, love him. So there are these ministers that they have been having ears to hear, to hear. what the Spirit of the Lord yeah. is saying. Ears to hear. And so they're yeah. in it. But these these ministries that will not go with the Lord, they I feel bad because I know they're not going to be part of the move in my that's what I see in the spirit anyway. Yeah. But it's so yeah. easy to say yes and go forward. So I love that not everybody, you know what I mean, is, but there is going to be a changing of the guard. And it is time. It is time. You know, outpourings happen and then it wanes down and then god does a new another new thing like waves on the ocean you know what i mean it's going to come up and peak and then it's going to go it is already happening oh i wish i could remember the list of countries africa it's happening around the world and it's happening in the young people first yes the young people uh, babies children teenagers college age young adults and what I love about that, because, you know, we're 30 and some. <laughs> yeah. What I love we're about it, though, is that we're, we're 30 not, and some. That's right. We're 30 and some more. We're not going to miss out on it. Those of us who have no. seen the charismatic movement and some further back, you know what I mean? The, the moves of God. Yeah. We're going to be part of yeah. this because you, you that are grown and mature become a mother and a father and begin to teach the younger. Yeah. Yeah. Begin to teach the yeah. younger because the baton is going to be passed. You know, in 20, 30 years, right. we're all going to be 70, 80, whatever age. Whatever. And it's going to be time. It's time to become teachers if you are uh, more mature. Okay. Become fathers and mothers to this g- next generation. And it's kind of in yeah. the natural, it can be a scary thing to look at the generation. I'm sure this has happened to every generation, but to look at the generation under you and go, oh, my Lordy, they're going to be the ones carrying the gospel. Well, they need <laughs> they care of us. <laughs> they need what we got, though. They need what we got, Say, meaning they like, need what we already did get when we were their age. Right. And what we've kept and what we've gone through. You know what I mean? The ups and the downs of life and the quitting and the not quitting and the uh, in the home home owner and the homeless and all the things that we've gone through. You know, the things being met and the things we had to believe God to the very end and the things that need met. And then the things that we gave up right before the promise came through. They need this wisdom based on the word they need to learn the word of god and they need to learn the experience of god and so i'm so privileged and i'm so thankful aren't you stace that jesus has allowed us to be here now that we're still for such such a time as this exactly esther four four for For such such a time as this and it's amazing so you know this this uh prophecy the, when you prophesy or have a prophetic word, it should always line up with the Bible. You know what I'm yes, saying? Always. It should line up with the Bible and it should confirm in your heart what the Lord's already showing you. And so I I love Acts 2.17. I want to read that to you. 2.17 through 21. I have always, always, always loved this scripture. We'll be right back after these very important messages. The Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Julie Tussie Show podcast are outreaches of The Voice Incorporated, a nonprofit ministry. If you would like to give an offering or become a monthly VIP voice impact partner, please go to TussieOnline.com slash give. That's TussieOnline.com slash give. If you'd like to go to Venmo, you can go and look for The Voice INC and also on the Cash App, the money symbol, The Voice INC. We thank you so much for your support, your partnership, your prayers, and your consideration in giving. Remember, all gifts are tax deductible. Hey, if you'd like me to come and share with your women's group or your church meeting or set up a concert in your area, give me a holler. I'd love to come. You can reach me at the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com. 
And we're back. I hope you're enjoying the music. I'm writing an eighth CD right now to be released in 2020. What? What? So excited about that. That's also a big part of the Grace Girl thing. And then um, I've got all of the music that you hear and some you're not hearing right over on Amazon. So just go search Julie Tussie or Gary and Julie Tussie and get some of this music because, oh my gosh, it's going to bless your socks off. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your young men shall see visions and your old men shall dream dreams. Oh my goodness, you wouldn't believe how many men I'm hearing are dreaming dreams. Um, and we, and when it comes to men and women in the Bible, it's us, it's men and women. Yeah. <laughs> man means man, yeah. man and woman in the Bible. And on my servants right. and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall not shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And honey, that is what it's all about. That is what it's all about. There this, you go. It's, you know, it was prophesied back when Peter was preaching. Okay. Right. And it's, it's just amazing. It's for today. It's for today. It's still for today. <laughs> yes. yes. So if because you're... I get that like, people are like, well, you know, that happened, you know, so many years ago. And, you know, that's just, that's just not for today. It's just not for today. Yeah, not true. It is for today because God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Yes. You know, he changed. And he's still on the throne, and he still has a plan to save humanity. You know what I mean? Jesus came that we might have life and have it abundantly. Not just, not this just barely getting by stuff. Not this, oh, it's COVID and we're all going to (laughs) die. No, that he has come that we we would have life and have it abundantly. I love that about him. I love it. So I yeah. am excited. I, I, yes, it's good stuff. Good stuff. I tell you, I'm excited to be here today. Now, if you're listening <laughs> and you don't know Jesus, it's as simple as asking him into your heart, asking him to be your Lord and Savior, repent of your sin and ask him in. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> Hashtag repent of your sin and ask him in. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And then call us or call somebody, email us, tell somebody that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. And begin to yeah. find a way to get to church, find a church, find someone online that's preaching and teaching the word, but find yourself a mother or a father in the faith to teach you the word. But is this not exciting? But you and I- you and I fit that description now. Did I know. You know that, Don't that? even tell me. I know. <laughs> you and I fit that description now. Definitely. I, mean, I know we're 30 and some more. Mm-hmm. However, we got some wisdom under our belt, yes. under our spiritual belt, you know. Yes. And I, I totally, totally love what the Lord showed you. Thank you. you Thank know, you, Jesus. Yeah. Because I think, I think that, even though it was given to you a little bit ago, I think that is exactly hitting the nail on the head for the time in which we are living in right now. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's my sense. (laughs) Yes, he's always so so faithful to give us hope. Yes. In the middle of the darkness to give us hope. Now, there's there's been a lot of people that are called... And haven't answered. So if you are one of those people, I want to, I want to beseech you. Answer the call of Jesus. Answer the call. If you feel called to God to go out, let me tell you an example. We have a friend, his name is Ken, and when we went to Texas, the Great Texpedition, we, we went and saw Ken and oh. his wife. <laughs> well, this guy is on fire for Jesus. Matter of fact, 30 years ago, just about, the Lord had me call him out of a group of people and it's kind of wild for me when I know the Lord wants me to minister to someone. People become illuminated almost to me. So I called him up. Um, and I, Hello. Hello. I know that. Fact. Yes, you do. Hello. So I called him up. I didn't know him from Adam, right? I'm just up there in the middle of Michigan somewhere. He can tell you the city. And I, the Lord said, call him up and tell him this. So I called him up and I said, 
something to the effect of when God begins to move on you, you're it's going to be like a fire and God is going to use you to pull people out of hell like brands of fire. And do you know, I know, and do you know to this day when he'll call us and he'll go, oh my gosh, my hands are burning. My feet are burning. Like he feels fire, like the fire of God stirring in him that way. He's wild. But anyway, he's got a call on his life to preach the gospel. And he, he, um, he's got pastors in his life, but I don't know what he really does on his church side. And it's kind of hard right now. Nobody's going to church, but he, um, he just felt so stirred to do this and gary and i we've been ministering to him we told him you need to obey god and do it you need to obey and he said i want to get a tent and i want to go and set up on corners on the street and i want to preach on the street and this guy is powerful man when he prays for you he god stuff happens he's it's amazing what god does so and you know the lord would use that as a sign and a wonder to the unbelievers out on the street healings and no word of knowledge and things you know things like that so you're right we we left there and it wasn't a week later i think it was a week later his wife sent us a picture and do you know he determined that is what i'm gonna do god's gonna send me musicians you guys are gonna come down if you can when you can but i am going to the streets with a tent if i just gotta have a little speaker and a microphone that is what i'm doing and he was given a tent in his neighborhood and has a tent one week later (laughs) and it's beautiful it's beautiful and it, it's white with with what? navy blue stripes. And it's not a super big tent, but it's got three walls. It's beautiful. And he is taking that, and he is going to preach in the streets of the Woodlands, Texas. Ooh, girl. I know. So if you're listening and wow. God has been prompting you, get connected. You can connect with me and Gary at TussieOnline.com. You can connect with us by writing to the voice inc 23 at gmail.com. You can every we don't we do everything from training and helping people to learn the word of God to or licensing and ordaining and sending you out yeah you know what i mean so we got a lot going on here but yeah so if that's you please 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 obey him in this time i would not want to miss out on an azusa street on steroids (laughs) and that's what it is i know honey i can tell you and so you could too stacy we've been friends for 30 years you and I could both sit here and do an entire podcast just telling about the miracles. I've seen legs grow out. I've seen people get out of wheelchairs. I have seen blind eyes open. Yep. I have seen teeth be yep. full of fillings. I have seen people um, have one leg grow. I have seen, I mean, right there, standing right next to the minister, seen Size- wonders you've seen. Yes, yeah, signs and wonders and miracles. Crazy. Yeah, and Miracles. I could tell you some of the stuff the Lord's done through uh, my, my my ministry or the ministry he's given to me, which is his ministry, but it's my ministry. You know, just amazing things, watching uh, things on ultrasounds that are there one minute and a half hour later, they're gone. And things they're like gone. That. Yeah, yeah, things like that. Oh. So. <laughs> God is alive and well, people. He is alive and well. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this podcast today. It has been such a great honor to be with you. You deserve. You deserve to be blessed. You deserve to be um, full and free. You deserve to be fulfilled in your life. You deserve to enjoy your life. And so in the name of Jesus, I speak blessings on your life. I say that every need that you have is met. Every desire of your heart that lines up with his will and his call is fulfilled in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for an anointing to come on those you've called to the ministry. I thank you for an anointing to come on those that are called to teach the younger generation. Father God, open doors that no man can close right now in your mighty name. Angels, go out and bring every single thing that we need to fulfill the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. being preached be it in the streets be, be it on the social media wherever it is and father i thank you i thank you that each and every person that hears this podcast is born again spirit filled and yes. know you personally amen yes. and amen, amen.
And thank you, Stacy, so much for being on with me. Of course, sweetheart. I enjoyed it. That was awesome. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. God is yes. so good. He's faithful. He is always faithful to us, and I love him so much. Well, I love you, listeners. I love you so much, and Jesus loves you. Until next time, we will talk again. You be blessed. There you go, and thank you so much for tuning in to Grace Girls and Company, the podcast today. We are so glad, so glad that you joined us. Now, I want to tell you a couple of things. Number one, I love you. Number two, Jesus loves you so much. I pray that your day is blessed. I pray that your week is blessed. I pray that your life is blessed. Every need is met in the name of Jesus and every bit of the call of God on your life is fulfilled. Reach out to me at thisgracegirllife at gmail.com. You are listening to the Grace Girls and Company podcast where dreams really do come true. You are not created to be ordinary, but extraordinary. You are not created to be common, but uncommon. You are not created to be average, but above average. You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. If you'd like to support this ministry and this podcast, go to TussieOnline.com now, my sister, and become a VIP, a voice impact partner with me on a mission from God to reach women with the gospel of Jesus. And thank you so much for your kind consideration. And remember, all gifts are tax deductible. Hey, if you'd like me to come and share with your women's group or your church meeting or set up a concert in your area, give me a holler. I'd love to come. You can reach me at the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com. I want to take a minute to say thank you so much to our supporters, underwriters, sponsors, those of you that give to our nonprofit corporation, The Voice Incorporated. Everybody in here, put your hands in the air. Everybody in here, put your hands in the air. Everybody in here, put your hands in the air.